Yeah, it definitely gave me some more confidence because, you know, I can kind of... Basically, doing a movie where if the whole bunch of people who can criticize me for being in the, the Twilight movies, if, like, a lot of people who criticize me, you know, in terms of being uh, film enthusiasts, uh, they'd have to criticize their entire appreciation of film to criticize this. <laughs> and they, so, I mean, they, they'd have to, you know, for them, you know, anyone who appreciates film is going to like David's movies. Because, I mean, what, not necessarily like them, but have to appreciate them. Uh, and so... There's no argument from you. I, I, I like that. And I think it's quite accurate. You know, we, I'll tell you, we, a lot of movies are desperate to be loved, you know, and a lot of people in the movies are desperate to be loved, and that's why a lot of actors will not play a role they think is unsympathetic or, or shows them in an unflattering light. And to me, that's, you know, that's a certain kind of white bread movie making, basically a confection, you know, it's a consumer item. But if you're making interesting, tough stuff that's, that's challenging, uh, likable isn't isn't everything. In fact, sometimes it's it's uh, it's uh, counterproductive, you know? So I'm not afraid to ha make movies that are not likable, but as long as they're not boring and they're, they're not uninteresting, that's, to me, that's a huge amount, because most movies are both of those things. Thank you. <laughs> the, um, the script had some interesting quirks of like language, a few of the characters use the royal we at, at 